Happy Saturday, gang. Oh, and apparently it's Dapper Day, which might play a little bit into our day. And no, I'm not going to Disney. The place I bought my hat, the uh, Gorn Brothers Company, has a couple of stores out here, and the one that I went to to get mine, um, I think they're having like a Dapper Day thing where they're having a go-go dancer and they're having all kinds of stuff, so I might just swing by there and see what's going on today. I really don't know yet. I'm gonna go for a hike right now though, so let's go. There he is, he's going for the hike today, at least until he overheats. And hello, Lionhearts, it's your old pal Jordan. I should probably say hi, shouldn't I? It's my vlog. Looks like they're pruning the palm trees today. I didn't know they did that, I thought they just waited for them to fall off into the streets. This place is guaranteed gonna be packed today, especially because it's a beautiful day and it's early in the day, but I wanna get it in. Jaw tried to stop and lay down, so I don't know if he's gonna be able to do this. I'm hoping we can do the whole thing, but sometimes he just decides it's too hot for him and he's done. He's veered off course because he sees there's a an obedience class going on over here. He thinks it's like playtime. No, come on. Come Ja, come on. They're learning. You don't want to learn that, do you? You're too independent for that. All right, we've been hiking from my place to basically what I consider the start of the trail, and that's about 25 minutes, so probably it'll take me another 20 to get to the top, then however long to get back, maybe 30 to get back. Goes much faster on the way down, of course. It's just one constant incline. It's kind of why it's the best trail to do, I think. Wow, check out that monster. All right, we're gonna start heading our way back down. These are all the trails that we've done out here. Yesterday I was mentioning how much I hated the new uh, way that Samsung had tweaked their, or my phone anyway, had adjusted their camera and changed the buttons and everything. I still hate that. It's still really annoying and it has slowed me down. It has made me miss shots. So keep that in mind if you're going to do the update. But uh, the one thing that they seem to have fixed, which I actually really like, actually two things I noticed they fixed. My battery life is lasting a little bit longer now that they did that uh, upgrade thing. But what also is happening is uh, you might notice in some of my videos that, um, that when I'm uh, ending a sentence or something, half the word will get cut off. It's not actually my fault, it's the, the camera. When I would hit record, it wouldn't show it was recording when I start for like the first half second, so I end up doing double intros. And then uh, when I would stop it, it would, um, when I would stop the camera, I would stop it after I said my sentence, but it would cut it off a half second early, so you'd miss half the word. And there was no rhyme or reason why. And unless I kept that in mind every time I finished what I was saying and waited like two seconds to stop recording, I'd lose that word and sometimes I'd have to edit out that whole sentence so it would end abruptly. It seems to have been fixed now. And in fact, the fix seems to be pretty noticeable because uh, when you actually press the stop recording button, it films an extra second longer before it acknowledges it. So I think that's clear indication it's fixed, which is nice, but you shouldn't have to trade off to get one thing or two things and lose two things that you love about the camera. This guy up here on the corner has a garage sale on this corner every single Saturday and Sunday and he has the most odd things like he always has three or four tripods, always a few walkers or wheelchairs, always just kind of odds and ends, old cameras, conventional ovens, he's just always got something. I saw this as I was walking through earlier. So today is April 15th and I absolutely hate April 15th and I really hate Easter and this is kind of why. And I don't really talk about it that much, I mean I try not to because I just don't really want to live in the past but um, 
it is an important day. Um, my dad suffered with cancer. He had a tumor at one point, and then it, once he, they thought it was like in remission and everything, eventually it came back as brain cancer, and he ended up um, dying from it. And uh, it was like April 15th of 1990. Um, it was Easter morning, and my grandpa woke me up. He had apparently already found out, and uh, he came over before my sister and I were awake and woke us up and said, Jordan, your dad passed away this morning. I'm sorry. And uh, that's how we spent our Easter in 1990, was trying to come to grips with that. I mean, I, I kind of, I mean, I, honestly, I didn't see it coming. Even though he was sick, it kind of attacked him out of nowhere. And, uh, yeah, I, so I just don't celebrate Easter. Even though I am religious, I don't celebrate Easter, and I don't, I really hate April 15th. Came to get my mail, and I saw this sitting in the trash. <laughs> All right, I did decide to come over to the uh, Larchmont Dapper Day thing over at Goran Brothers. I just want to see what's going on. <clears throat> and then I'm actually going to vlog something in the neighborhood. I figured, like, since I'm over here, it's a perfect time to do this one. And it's something I mentioned a while ago that I was going to do. And you know how timing works out. Got to do this stuff when it makes sense. Save the money on the gas, the travel, everything. So... I just realized a few blocks south of here is the uh, second story MacGyver loft. Let's see if there's anything happening yet. In my opinion, this place has basically the best hats that are made. If you're looking for like a straw hat or a fancy hat or like top hat or anything, they have the best stuff. Like, I think that hat is awesome. your feather needs. They just did an announcement and asked who wants to do a shot of whiskey, so it's Dapper Day. See, this is set up more like an old town, so there's like a Landis Toy Shop, Landis Gift and Stationery, Larchmont Barber Shop. More old school stuff. Actually, since I was right here, there's the MacGyver Loft. Right up there. You couldn't really see it from the other side of the street. And this would have been the uh, the actual entrance to the loft. Sorry for the sun splashes, but I figured I'd show you since I was literally walking right by it. Clearly, you could tell it looks nothing like the way it used to. They had completely remodeled that and regutted it and everything. But that was that was where his apartment was. Well, here we are. The Ravenswood Apartments. Now I know I've told you guys about this. This is kind of a legendary place because uh, Clark Gable is credited as living here with his, uh, I think it was his second wife, the older of the uh, four, five, I think he was married five times, Rita Langen, Langham, 
he lived here with her, but that was even sporadic because she had two adult, well not adult kids, but older kids that lived with her as well. So he actually, he lived here, but he had his own apartment somewhere else as well. Online, it's credited also as being Ava Gardner's address for quite a time. It was credited also as Ethel Merman living here, but the problem I had with that is that the address, like the room number that they said that she lived in, in the 50s, was the same room number that I know for sure that Mae West lived in. And Mae West lived here, I mean, she was the most famous occupant that this place ever had, and she lived here from uh, 1932 until she died in 1980. And you guys know that I interviewed her assistant on, uh, on here, for a vlog at one point, and I actually asked him, I just sent him a message and I said, did that ever happen? And he said, no, May never left that apartment for the entire time that she had it. Now, um, I do know that her apartment would have been right up here. It was uh, on the sixth floor. And let's see, let's count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it would have been right up in here would have been her apartment for all that time. And this was her main apartment. It was a two bedroom apartment. Um, she lived there by herself. Um, she did have a boyfriend, but uh, Paul. But this is that where that story where Tim told us that she um, was mugged, robbed, right, getting out of her limousine right out front, right in front of the doors when she was getting dropped off. Let's go over and take a little bit of a closer look. Sorry guys, I had to take the hat off. It was getting a little too hot out here for it. Um, at one point, we were gonna try and actually vlog inside May's apartment, and um, Tim knows the person who lives there now and has lived there for quite a while, and he contacted her, and she said that actually, in her lease to live there, says that she cannot film anything inside there or have any kind of published photographs. It would be a violation of her lease, and she would actually get it, um, evicted for it, so. That's why we weren't doing an inside the apartment vlog. Otherwise, you guys know I definitely would have tried. Let's get a closer look. Just to think the great Mae West, one of the biggest stars of all time. How many times her limousine or her chauffeured car would have dropped her off right out front and she would have walked right into those front doors. And as far as I know, nothing has changed about this place. They've tried to keep it about as classic as it ever was, so. And being that this is the only driveway, to the parking structure. That also means that Clark Gable and May both would have come and gone from here numerous times. Pretty cool neighborhood. I want to show you this building too. It's not the Art Deco style that we just saw from uh, the Ravenwood, but as I was walking by here, I just, I love this style. It's on the same street. This is called uh, Rossmore. Oh, and there's, you know what? Maybe this is Art Deco. There's a little plaque here. I didn't even know about it, but let's check out what it's all about. I would just happen to be walking by. It says, uh, the Mauritania Original Modern Art Deco, built in 1934 by Milton J. Black, architect for Jack Haley, the Tin Man and the Wizard of Oz. Los Angeles resident of President John F. Kennedy, home to many of LA's illustrious stars and families, owned at one time by the Amundsen family, part of the preservation of Rossmore Avenue in the Larchmont area. Built for Jack Haley. Okay, well, I didn't know that. So I was wrong on just about every account. This is Art Deco, just not the style that I'm used to. It's got more of like that ship look. But isn't that crazy? This was John F. Kennedy's address <laughs> in Los Angeles? Wow. Wow. I, uh, 
wow, I bet you if I went home and studied, read up on this, I bet I'd find a lot more. There's got to be a reason it was named the Mauritania. Okay, so I just read up. Basically what happened was it looks like Jack Haley had this thing built and then he lived here for like 20 years in the penthouse. And then when, uh, in the 60s, when John F. Kennedy came through for the Democratic National Convention, this is where he lived. He lived actually in Jack Haley's penthouse apartment. So I gotta believe that the penthouse would be the highest one up there, right? Looks like this area up here would have been the penthouse. Wow, pretty cool. Say this is a 10 unit building. Must be dapper day. Well that is awesome, I didn't expect to see that. Just boxed up all the camera and everything, all the accessories that I'm gonna sell. I think I'm just gonna put it on Craigslist. And I got my new coffee shipment, check this out. One of my favorites, chocolate cherry celebration, oh yeah. Hawaiian Kona, I don't remember that one. I don't remember what it tastes like. Surf and Safari. Uh, Caramel Kiss Island. All right. That should keep me going, especially with the uh, other couple of bags I still got in the closet.